Praise the Lord. Welcome to pre-service prayer. How many of you guys love to pray? Okay, okay. And you know, nothing gets done without prayer. Nothing gets done without prayer. Prayer goes before everything. Amen. And so we just want to begin this evening by thanking our Lord. Let's just thank our Father. Let's thank our Lord Jesus. And let's thank the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, thank you for being so wonderful. Lord, we just declare today, from the rising of the sun until the time that it goes down, the name of our God shall be praised. The Lord is above all the nations, his mercies above the heavens. Who is like unto the name of the Lord our God who dwells on high? And the answer is, there is no one like you, Lord. There is no one. Beside you, there is none other. And we thank you that you are our Father and we're your children. And we thank you, thank you, Lord, that Jesus told us this, that this is life eternal, that we may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Lord, thank you that we know you. How many of you thank the Lord that we know him? We know you, Lord. We know you. We know you. And we thank you. And we give you praise and glory and honor. Lord, we know it's of your mercies that we have not been consumed or destroyed. Because your compassions do not fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness toward us, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness to us, to our families. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that you are faithful to us even when we're not faithful to you. But, Lord, help us to be faithful to you. How many of you want the Lord, the Holy Spirit, to help us to be faithful? To be faithful to you, God. We want to be faithful to you, and we thank you, Lord, for helping us to be faithful intercessors. Lord, you said in the Word that you looked for someone, anyone, who would make up the hedge and who would stand in the gap. And in Ezekiel chapter 22, God, you could not find anybody. But, Lord, I thank you that across this parking lot tonight, God, you have found faithful intercessors. Lord, thank you for these faithful intercessors so that our land will not be destroyed, so that our city will not be destroyed. Lord, so that our families and our loved ones will not be destroyed. Lord, we even stand in the gap, Lord, for our state for the state of Arkansas, and we stand in the gap, Lord, for our nation, the United States of America. Lord, it's the land that you love, and Lord, we will declare what your word says, Lord. We declare, God, that we are one, Lord, and we thank you, just like our pledge to the allegiance, Lord, says that we are one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And God, we just declare it because Jesus told us in the word that we have whatever we say. And we thank you. We say what your word says because Jesus said this. He said, have faith in God. So, Lord, we have faith in God and we have the faith of God. How many of you know, say, we have the faith of God. We have the faith of God. And then you said, Jesus, verily, verily, I say to you, whosoever shall say to this mountain, Whoever shall say to these uh, trials and these circumstances, whoever shall say to these difficulties, whosoever shall say the coronavirus, Lord, to the Delta strain, to the Omicron strain, we say, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. And we do not doubt in our hearts, but we believe those things which we say shall come to pass, we have whatever we say. Lord, we thank you. And then you went on to say, Jesus, that whatever things we desire, when we pray, we believe, we receive them, and we shall have them. How many of you believe you receive? We believe that we receive the answers to prayer. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And so, God, we thank you, Lord, that we are not fearful. You have not given us that spirit of fear. Lord, because you said perfect love cast out fear. And we know that you have perfect love toward us. And we thank you for your perfect love. 
because the word of God says you have loved us with an everlasting love. And Lord, we thank you that you loved us so much that you sent us the best gift in all the world. You sent us Jesus. How many of y'all just say his name three times? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that the name of Jesus is above every name that is named. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is Lord in three realms. Jesus is Lord in the heavens. Jesus is Lord in the earth. And Jesus is Lord under the earth. And Lord, we thank you for your name, Jesus, that you have given to us. And we just speak the name of Jesus. We speak the name of Jesus over the enemy. And we say, be thou removed. We speak the name of Jesus over sickness. We speak the name of Jesus over every infirmity. We speak the name of Jesus over every trial, every tribulation. It has to flee in Jesus' mighty name. It has to bow its knee. And so we it's not just the name of Jesus, but it's faith in the name. How many of you have faith in the name of Jesus? We have faith in Jesus' name. His name is powerful. And we thank you, Lord, for all these weapons of warfare that you have given to us. Lord, and we thank you for the power of the blood. How I many you know that there is power in the blood of Jesus? Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, there's a song we sing, there's power. There's power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. So we thank you, Lord, as we apply the blood of Jesus over our lives. Lord, we apply it over our spirit, over our souls, over our bodies, over our minds, over our wills, and over our emotions, Lord. We make much of the blood. I mean, you know, we make much of the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are born again. Lord, the blood of Jesus is what saved us. Lord, we thank you for the power of the blood. The blood withstands the destroyer. Lord, the blood turns away destruction from us, from our lives, Lord, and we thank you. We just draw a bloodline around our lives. We draw a bloodline around our properties. We apply the blood of Jesus over our, Lord, over all of our possessions. Lord, we plead the blood. How many y'all say, we plead the blood. We plead the blood, Lord. We apply the blood of Jesus. It is so powerful. And God, we thank you for another powerful weapon of the word of God. Lord, it's the quick, it's quick, it's alive. It's powerful, more sharper than a two-edged sword, Lord, that pierces the darkness. How many of the Word of God pierces the darkness? The Word of God shatters the darkness. And, Lord, we thank you. It divides the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. Lord, we thank you for the power of the Word of God. And, Lord, we thank you. We take the word of God and we bind the enemy. Lord, we declare the devil is a defeated foe. Lord, because the word of God tells us that for this purpose was the Son of God manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And, Lord, we thank you that you have given us the same authority. Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, and then I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for that authority, God. But Lord, we're not rejoicing, Lord, because we have authority over the devil, but we're rejoicing because our names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Your, is your name written in heaven? Are you? Let's rejoice over it. We rejoice because our names are written in heaven in the Lamb's book. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, and we thank you, God, for the power of the word of God. And Lord, we thank you, God, that you said, I have put my words in your mouth. The Lord put his words in our mouth so we can speak it out. Amen. He said, so we can speak out the word of God. He said, he has covered us in the shadow of his hand that he may plant the heavens. Lord, we're planting the heavens, the atmosphere right now over Camden with your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are laying the foundations in the earth by us declaring your word tonight. And Lord, we declare your kingdom come. Y'all say that. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in 
heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done in Camden, Arkansas. Lord, even in this state, in this, in our county, in Ouachita County, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we're letting the enemy know, God, that we do not want evil in our city. We do not want evil in our city. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we declare Camden is a strong city. Lord, we declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we declare, Lord, even the word Camden means freedom. So, Lord, we declare we are free and liberated from the curse of the law of sin and death because cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Jesus, thank you for hanging on the tree. How many of you thank Jesus for hanging on the tree in your place? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you went to hell in our place. How many of y'all thank God you don't have to go to hell because Jesus went to hell? Thank you, Jesus. But you didn't stay there. God raised you from the dead, and now you're seated at the right hand of the Father. And the Bible says that you ever live to make intercession for us. So, Lord, we thank you for praying for us. We thank you, thank you for all that you're doing for us. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. And you told us, Lord, the test of our love for you is if we obey you, if we keep your commandments. So, Lord, you said the one who loves you is the one who, who obeys your word. So, Lord, help us. Y'all just lift your hands and say, thank you, Father, for helping me to be obedient to you, to be obedient to your word. And we just give you thanks and we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's thank the Lord for the power of prayer, the power of intercession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, praise God, we'll continue to pray tonight and believe the Lord. How, how many of you know that ever since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has suffered violence? And the violence, take it by force. Hallelujah. So, Father, we are taking it back, everything that the devil has stolen from us. Oh, God, we are taking it back in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise that you said that this place where we are here tonight should be called by all nations a house of prayer where people get their needs met, God, where you are, God, and where you dwell at, God. And, Lord, I thank you that you said where there's two or three that are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst of them, God. So, Father, I thank you. Why don't you just right now just lift your hands up and just thank him for his presence tonight. Oh, God, I thank you for touching each one here tonight in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for the cloud by day and the fire and the fire by night, God. I thank you, Lord, that you said in your presence that you would show us the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And so, Father, I thank you right now that it's joy in the place tonight. It's joy in the camp tonight because you are still on the throne tonight. And, Lord, you rule and reign over us tonight, God. How many of you know that King Jesus is our captain? He's leading this army. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that our enemy has been defeated. And, Lord, I thank you that we are here tonight to put him under our feet, God. And, Lord, we declare and decree tonight, God, that no weapon, I don't care where it come from or where it is, hallelujah, in your home or wherever, in the streets or in this community, I declare here tonight that no weapon formed against the child of God, the children of God, or that is formed against them, but it won't prosper, hallelujah. We are here tonight by prayer to condemn it and show it to be in the wrong and give it no place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you have given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us, Lord. Father, as we come tonight, we look to the hills which cometh our help tonight. Our help cometh from the Lord that made the heavens and the earth. Lord, I thank you that you will not suffer our foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is our keeper. I'm gonna, I want to get a horn blow. If he's your keeper, hallelujah. The Lord is our keeper. 
The sun will not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. He shall preserve us from evil. He shall preserve our soul. He shall preserve our going out and our coming in from this day forward. I call upon your name today, God, for your name is powerful, God. Lord, I thank you for being Jehovah Jireh, our provider tonight. I thank you for being Jehovah Shalom, our peace tonight. I thank you for being Jehovah uh, uh, Kadesh, our sanctifier, God. I thank you for being Jehovah Nisa tonight, our banner and our protector tonight. Lord, the banner that weighs over us is love, God. Lord, you love us so much that you sent your only begotten Son into the earth that whosoever believe in you shall not perish but have eternal life tonight. Come on, let's thank him for life tonight. I thank you, Lord, for eternal life, God. I thank you tonight for victory tonight, God. I give you praise, God, that you are our God. How many are you going to trust him tonight? Lord, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, we trust you, and we lean not to our own understanding, but we are here to acknowledge you, Lord, for you to direct our path tonight, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you said in your word that death and life is in the power of the tongue, God. So, Lord, we speak life. We speak resurrection life tonight. We pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. In the north, the south, and the east, and the west, we command the enemy to give up those that are captive tonight. Release them right now. Give them up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Father, we give you praise. We break every chain. We break every yoke of bondage tonight, God. And we know that if Jesus be lifted up, he said that he would draw all men. So, Father, I thank you for breaking every yoke. I thank you, Lord, for breaking every chain that holding those captives tonight, God. And, Lord, I thank you that if you setting them free tonight, God, they'll be free indeed, God. No more. Somebody ought to just thank you for setting them free. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for setting me free tonight, God. I thank you right now that you broke my chains, God. I thank you tonight, God, that you loose my shackles tonight. I thank you tonight, God, that I can announce my freedom, Lord. I can announce it all over the world, God. I can announce that I'm free. And, Lord, I thank you that what the devil meant for harm, hurt, and danger would turn around in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are, what you are doing tonight, God, but I thank you tonight that there's a turnaround for you tonight. There's a turnaround for everyone here tonight. Oh, thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I don't know one way you came tonight, but I'm telling you the Bible said that in, uh, he, he would show us the path of life in his presence, the fullness of joy, and at his right hand of pleasure forevermore, that he's here tonight to set you free tonight. He's here tonight to break the chains. He's here tonight, Lord. I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, I believe right now that we are pushing forth tonight. We push forth in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that we just declare, oh, you are our God, and we are trusting you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, for all the things that you are doing for us, Lord. We are here, God, to war in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the helmet of salvation. Thank you for the breastplate of righteousness, Lord. Thank you that our lungs are girl about with truth tonight. Thank you that our feet are shod in the preparation of gospel peace. Thank you, Lord, for the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have armed your saints. You have armed us, and we are dangerous, Lord. Father, I give you praise and give you honor, God, that you said in your word, for us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, God. But, Lord, we are declaring to the enemy, God, that it's you, O oh God, that worketh in us both the will and to do of your good pleasure. So, Lord, we are here to hold fast to our confession of faith without wavering. For you are faithful 
that promise us. How I many you know that our God is faithful? Hallelujah, Father, I thank you for being faithful to us, oh God. Lord, thank you that heaven and earth will pass away, but your word would not pass away, God. Thank you, oh God, that we can stand on the promises of the Lord. And Lord, we thank you that the solid rock is Jesus. Jesus that we stand on tonight. Hallelujah, Father. And Lord, I thank you that all, somebody say all the night, all the promises that to us are yes and amen to bring you glory, God. For Lord, you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you would do it. If you spoke it, you will bring it to pass. For you have received a command to bless us, and you will not reverse it. Come on, I want you to know that our God, he's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same tomorrow. He never changed. Lord, thank you in this world that is changing all around us, God. But I thank you, Lord, that you don't change, God. Lord, I give you praise that as many as receive you, you gave us power to become the sons of God, even those that believe on your name, God. Lord, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for making us a raw priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that we show forth the praise of God who have brought us out of darkness into the marvelous light. How many of you want your light to shine? Lord, I want my light to shine in Walmart, in Brookshire's, Lord. Lord, everywhere I go, I want the light to shine. I don't want to be hid, God, but I want to shine for you, God, that you get your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, I believe, God, for your authority that's in our, in our life, God. You told us to speak to the mountains and command them to be thy removed. So we speak to the mountains, oh, that's hindering us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we speak to the mountain of bondage and we command it to go now in Jesus' name. Father, I rebuked the spirit of bondage in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, I thank you for forgiving us and delivering us in the name of Jesus tonight, God. I bind and rebuke a spirit of fear tonight, God. For you are not giving us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So I rebuke you, fear, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for forgiving us and delivering us from fear, phobia, oh God, inferiority complex, all type of phobia and fear, God. I break it and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for forgiving us and delivering us in the name of Jesus, Lord. I bind and rebuke a heavy spirit. Oh, you heavy spirit, not being able to call upon God. Oh, I give you praise tonight, God. I break that assignment in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. I give you praise for Lord, you are God. I bind a lying spirit tonight, God. Oh, God, you, I break it. I break its assignment off our life tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I bind familiar spirits, horoscopes, fortune tellers, twisting, turning the truth around, a cup and witchcraft. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I want to know if anybody there with me tonight, are you believing right now? We are putting the devil under our feet tonight, and we are disallowing him, oh, to have no place. The Bible said resist him, and he shall flee. So, Lord, I thank you right now that none of these things going to move us, oh, God. For, Lord, we are trusting in you. We are believing tonight. Go, oh God, that your hand is up on us, God. Lord, just like you did, Jabez. Lord, I pray the prayer of Jabez over us tonight. Lord, you enlarge his border. He took up his tent pegs, and he was able to enlarge his border. And what's so good about it, the spirit of the living God was upon him. How I many you know the spirit of God is up on us tonight? The spirit of God is up on us tonight. Oh, God, and you kept him from evil. And you would not allow him to cause pain. You granted Jabez his request. How many of you know that 
This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, that he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have a petition that we desire him. How I many you know he hears us? I know he hears sinners. I know he hears me, but he also hears those that worship him. Hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands up to him tonight and worship him tonight. Father, I thank you for hearing and answering our prayers, God. I thank you for peace tonight over us tonight. I thank you, Lord, for all the things, the benefits that you've given us, Lord, to be able to stand and having done all to stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, if you are grateful, if you are thankful tonight, for our God is an awesome God, let's give him some praise tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for praying with me tonight. God bless you. We love you.
Good evening, Victory Church. It's good to see you tonight. I hope that you're doing well. Are you glad to be here in God's house today? Come on, this is, this is the Lord's day today. We rejoice, we're glad, we're thankful for what he's doing, what he's done here at Victory Church in our lives. So wherever you are, just lift your hands right there and say, God, you are Lord Almighty above all things, God. And we bless you and worship you today, God. We honor you, God, with our lives and our hearts, God. We declare your kingdom come and will be done here today, God, in our lives. Right now, God, we want more of you. God, our hearts are hungry for you, God. Lord, you said in your word, they that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. God, our desire is you, God. Our minds are set on you and our focus is you today, God, because you deserve the best for us, God, from us. So we give you that today. So wherever you are, come on, lift up some praise to the King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. that again. I'm not going to live. I'm not going to live by what I see. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to live by what I feel. Deep down I know. Deep down I know that you're here with me. Yes, you are. Just sing. 
I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe in you. Sing it out. I believe, I believe. I believe, Lord. I believe, I believe in you. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe in you. Oh, I believe, I believe, Lord. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord. I believe, I believe in you. Oh, I believe, I believe, Lord. I believe, I believe, Lord. We believe, we believe, we trust you, Lord. Trust you, Lord. Trust you, Lord. Come on, if you believe that, give a shout of praise. and trust in you too. And I believe you are the way the truth the life I believe that you are the way you are the way the truth the life Every battle, every heartbreak, every circumstance, oh, I believe, I believe that you are my fortress, you are my portion, you are my
If somebody believes with us today that he is the only way, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Somebody lift up a praise to the king today. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. For who you are, Jesus, for who you are. See, all that we need is found in him. All that we need is found in him. And in his name, everything is found. He is father. He is forgiver. He is grace. He is strength. He is healer. He's our, he's our provider. He's our protector. He is the proclaimer of truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is none beside him today. We worship you, Jesus. There's nowhere I'd rather be. You're singing over me. I just want to be here with you. Lost in your mystery, found in your love for me, Jesus. I just want to be with you. Come on, let's sing that again. There's nowhere. There's nowhere I'd rather. Singing over me, you're singing over me. Just want to hear you, Jesus. I just want to be with you. Oh, I'm lost in your mystery. I'm tonight, online, in the parking lot, Facebook, just lift your hands before the Lord tonight, such a sweet, sweet spirit here that I believe that's moving all across the parking lot, in the homes, and it's nothing like being in the presence of the Lord. It's just like a, a touch, supernatural touch. Hallelujah. Yes, 
praise and worship have gotten us in a place where we just want Jesus. Does somebody want Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. We just want Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody can do us like Jesus. Hallelujah. And right now, that's what you're feeling right now. That's, that's Jesus. That's his presence. Wanting to get closer to you tonight. Just want you to know that it's all right. Hallelujah. Do you feel the spirit of the Lord here in this place tonight? Letting you know it's all right. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I believe somebody. I believe God has brought you from a mighty long way. I believe that you're glad tonight for Jesus. I believe tonight that Jesus deserves all the praise and all the glory tonight. Oh, he made it possible for us to shout and be happy. Come on, give him a horn blow tonight. Let him know we love him. Just want to love on you, Lord. Just want to love on you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, isn't that good? Isn't it awesome to be in the presence of the Lord? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, praisers. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Well, we're getting ready to receive our tithes, often gifts, alms, and vows tonight. My favorite scripture is, uh, you know, the seed, the, the vine shall, shall give its fruit, the ground is increased, the heaven is due, and that's been applied to us because when we give, it's like planting seeds, and they're going to come forth. Hallelujah. They're going to come forth because... God loves us to be cheerful givers, and he told us to give. So he wants to bless us, and that's his way of blessing us. Hallelujah. I see some blessed people out there because they are givers. Hallelujah. Driving nice cars and different things. Hallelujah. Because the goodness of the Lord. And he said, give and it shall be given unto us. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. So the ushers will be uh, uh, going through the parking lot, giving you the opportunity to give tonight. But if that's not going to uh, be all right with you, you can text uh, your gift in or uh, you can go online. And give that way. Also, you can give here at the double doors uh, in the security box here. And so we have several ways to give so you can be a blessing and so God can bless you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for every seed that's being planted here tonight, God. I thank you that you're going to uh, germinate it and grow it and increase it, Lord. I thank you, Lord, just like the fish and the barley loaves, you increase it and fed 5,000, Lord. So, Father, we place this in your hand tonight. We place every seed, every gift in your hands, God. And we say multiply it, increase it, that the kingdom may continue to go from glory to glory. We give you all the praise and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Everyone said amen. Will you be blessed in your giving? Uh, we want to give you an opportunity if you're a teenager or uh, 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 wants to uh, be able to go into the ministry that we have for you tonight, all the kids and the youth and all the uh, ministry that we have is over here through the double doors so you can allow your children to go forth and, and be a part of the ministry that's inside. Can you say amen? Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can avail yourself to that. Well, we're getting ready to minister to you tonight. I, I believe that Lord gave me a little powerful word tonight. I'm glad about it. You know, it's, it's like, um, have you ever had a crisp, uh, just a real crisp dollar bill, a, a, a $20 bill just off the press? Hallelujah. Well, that's the way I feel tonight. I feel like the Lord has given me a real uh, new and crisp message tonight for you tonight. 
And uh, I, I want the Lord to, to take this by his spirit and resonate it in your spirit tonight. And uh, you will be on your toes for, for God to move in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let's pray. Father, I thank you for your goodness and mercy that endures forever. Breathe upon this word tonight, God. Cause it, God, to fall upon the good ground tonight, God. And cause each one here tonight, God, under the sound of my voice, God, to behold you tonight. Lord, let them not see a man, but Lord, let them see you high and lifted up. And let the train of the Lord fill the temples tonight. And, Lord, let the good hand of God rest upon each one here tonight, God. We are here to give you all the praise and all the glory, God, because we know, God, that we are here for you, Lord. And, Lord, we know that you are God. And, Lord, we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundant above anything we ask or think according to the power that works within us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Bless us, Lord. Hallelujah, I want to minister a word tonight, and I want to ask you tonight, where is your faith? Say that with me tonight. Where is your faith? Hallelujah. You know, if Jesus asked his disciples, where were their faith? I mean, you know, uh, I feel like tonight that I'm also preaching to the choir tonight. You know all about the faith movement you know all about faith but i want to stir you up tonight as we go into this month uh december the first i want to stir your heart in faith tonight and believe god amen you know the disciples was on a boat and they was headed on the other side and i want to pick up in luke 8 and 25 it said but he said unto them where is your faith? And they were afraid and marvelled, saying one to another, Who can this be? Hallelujah. Sound like God to me. Who can this be? For he command even the winds and water, and they obey him. Hallelujah. How I many you know we got that same authority? Hallelujah. Uh, there is one thing that we must remember. God is bigger than any storm that you're going to. Hallelujah. We must realize that our faith has to be bigger than our fear. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. I don't know where uh, you are at at this point in life. Uh, you may be fearing any uh, particular thing tonight, but that didn't come from God. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. The, uh, Jesus' word, uh, his promises are stronger than any storm that we may be going through. Amen? Hallelujah. Our faith has to be big. Our faith has to be strong. Our faith has to be powerful. In Mark 11 and 21, 20, it said, Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up and from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you curse has withered away. Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. Hallelujah. That's, uh, you know, where is your faith? Where is it? Can you tell me? Now, I, I'm preaching the message tonight, and I can tell you where your faith's supposed to be. Can you say amen? Your faith's supposed to be in God, not in me, not in Pastor Jeremy, not in anything else on this earth, but your faith got to be in God. Hallelujah. It's got to be in God because God is the only one that can break the assignment of the enemy against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm looking at some people that look good tonight, just like the fig tree. The fig tree was looking real good, but how many of you know didn't have no fruit? 
Hallelujah. You can be looking good and, 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 and walking in, in, in things, you know, and, and, and believe in God, but you don't have enough faith. God has given us a measure of faith. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight that we are supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. I don't know about you, but the way I walk by faith, I walk on the word. I, I speak the word. Hallelujah. I, I, I walk and, and say and meditate upon the word of God, his promises. Hallelujah. We, I get me a scripture pertaining to the thing that's trying to come against me. Whether it's like or uh, whether it's sickness or uh, whatever it is and it comes from the enemy, I get me some ammunition. I get me a scripture and I speak that scripture all the time. I speak it uh, when the enemy may come against my mind. Hallelujah. I, I, if it's a scripture that says that I don't have a, enough money to do what I need to do, I say, my God shall supply all of my needs according to what? His riches in glory. Oh, somebody, this shouting right now. It's shouting. I want you to know that God is rich. He rich. He has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Bank in heaven. Hallelujah. Heaven and bank is rich. Hallelujah. And all you need is a word. All you need is a promise. Ah, I believe God is saying to somebody tonight, oh, the storm might be rising, but get the word of God and begin to speak the word and meditate on the word and speak that word and walk in faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. I remember when Thelma and I, we were in Pine Bluff and, and we were at this building and we didn't have uh, nowhere to go. They had told us what we had to go because we were too loud, and I called and called, and they would not return my call. And, and, and I didn't know if Sunday was coming. Somebody said Sunday was coming. And they, we didn't have a place for us to worship. I said, God, you got to move. Hallelujah. And I want to be honest with you. I want to be honest with you tonight. I didn't have a lot of faith at that time. I was weak in my faith, and I, I wanted to ask myself, where is your faith? Where is your faith, Donald? Where is your faith? Hallelujah. I, I, I know that God was able, and I know that he would move for us. And hallelujah, one of the precious sisters said, have you tried that place over across the street? And I looked at the place, and I said, Lord, have mercy. I don't have enough faith to, to even know how to go about trying to get that place to, of worship. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, my wife and I, we would come out of town and stop in Pine Bluff and go in the park, and we would pray and believe God. Hallelujah. We would have a prayer meeting in the park. You don't need a whole lot of uh, place to pray, do you? You can just go. We, we would come back from out of town and we stop in Pine Bluff and go over to someone's house and all of the people in the house needed prayer. And so we would have prayer meeting. I knew God was up to something. Hallelujah. I knew God was working. Hallelujah. I knew God was finna open the door. How I many you know that faith unlocks the door? Amen. Hallelujah. So I knew God was working. So all you need, the Bible said, they that wait. Uh, come on, I believe somebody out there is waiting on the Lord. I believe somebody is waiting on the Lord. They waiting on a camel to come in. They waiting on their, uh, their ship to come in. They waiting on the thing to get better. It ain't no harm to wait. The Bible say that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings of an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. If you're waiting on the Lord. Now, if you're waiting on me, you got a long wait. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. But they that wait upon who? The Lord. He's going to mount you up like wings of an eagle. Hallelujah. How I many you know an eagle can go real, real high? Hallelujah. He go high above every storm that would try to come against you. Hallelujah. The storms of life. Hallelujah. I'm getting back to my story. We walked in this place, and, you know, I was believing God, but I wanted to know where was my faith. And we began to talk to the guy, and uh, we said that we would like to have a meeting in this hotel. And so he began to say, you a church? I said, yes, we a church. Hallelujah. And he began to say, yeah, we need church. He was a foreigner. He said, we need church in him. Pray for me. Pray for my family. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, uh, he opened that door. God has used people to open doors in Pine Bluff for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that I thank God every day for them people that God used. Hallelujah. He used them for us to be able to be where we are right now. Hallelujah. But how many of you know we're a team? Hallelujah. We are operating in unity and in one accord. Hallelujah. To get the job done, to work in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And so as the story goes, he opened the doors and gave us a place to worship. And we began to discuss how much it would cost. He said, well, what were you paying for you when you left the other place? I told him, and he said, that's all you got to pay me now. Hallelujah. Praise God. When God opened a door, you know it's God. Amen. Hallelujah. He opened doors wide. Hallelujah. He's a God that's dealing with all the apparel in our life, and all we need is faith. Hallelujah. Faith to move the mountains. Amen. And so here we go. Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in who? In God. Hallelujah. Put your faith in God. He's able to turn every storm around. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And I believe there's somebody out there that's going through a storm. I believe right now uh, you either going in a storm or you coming out because the devil ain't resting and he ain't chained and we not going to change. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. We're going to believe God. You know, Jesus was on that boat while they was going to the other side. Hallelujah. That's why that we must understand that Jesus said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He's going through the storm with us. Say with us. I don't know what kind of storm you're going through, but he's going through the storm with us. Ask the Hebrew boys, hallelujah, that was put in the fiery furnace. Wasn't he with them? Hallelujah. The fire did not harm them, neither were their hair siege. Hallelujah. He's with us when we go through the storm. Ask Daniel in the lion's den. Wasn't he with him? Shut the mouths of the lions. Hallelujah. He's with us, and he was with them on the bus, on the boat. Amen? And so we must understand that all we need is faith. Hallelujah. To go through the storm. Sometimes I'm thinking that if, you know, we save, hallelujah, everybody out there will save, wave at me. We save, we save, we save through the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We are saved. But I, 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 I've been watching Christians these days. And hallelujah. And, 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 and people these days, Christians these days, they don't think they have to go through nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they, they think they don't have to go through nothing. Uh, 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 come on now. You, you, you know, you think you got it on easy street. Hallelujah. You don't want to use your faith. Got it on easy street. I'm telling you things change every day. 
and they are changing fast now. I, I looked at the gas price, and, and I'm telling you, uh, it had rose from what it was last week, hallelujah, and it's still rising. Things are changing. You, everything is not the same. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Everything is changing in this world. Hallelujah. Things are changing. Every day you wake up, it may be cloudy. It may, sun may be shining. It may be raining. Uh, 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 it may be snowing. But every day is not the same. Every day is, is not the same. They are changing. Things are changing all around us. But hallelujah, hallelujah. But I'm telling you, we serve one that don't never change. He the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can wake up in the morning and call upon his name. Oh, and he'll answer. Hallelujah. You can call him at midnight. You can call him up any time, and he'll be there. Because I know my Bible tell me that he is what? He's faithful. 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 I just want to stir you up this evening as we go into the Christmas season, as we go into the new year, have faith in God. That's what's going to move the mountain. That's what's going to change the thing. That's what's going to make your family uh, be saved is Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you say amen tonight? What did Jesus do when he walked out upon that storm? What did he do? He rebuked it, didn't he? He rebuked that stone. And, uh, and when he rebuked it, everything became calm. Hallelujah. Don't you want to be like Jesus? Hallelujah. Don't you want to be like Jesus? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, hallelujah. He's telling, telling you right now, where is your faith? Hallelujah. He's saying you use your faith. Hallelujah. You know, the only difference in those that, 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 that have great things in life is they are using their faith. Hallelujah. That's what God put up on this earth for us to use is our faith and believe that we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. In Matthew 8 and 9, it said, For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And I say to another, come, and he comes. And to this, my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Hallelujah. Don't believe the devil. Don't believe the devil. Hallelujah. You can have what you say. Hallelujah. You can speak it into existence. And hallelujah. And if you uh, use your faith, you will speak it into existence. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so the centurion soldier, he knew his authority and he knew that God had authority to be able to speak a word because it even goes back to Genesis, how God spoke the world and everything that we see uh, into existence. He spoke it, and he said it was good. Amen? Hallelujah. And we are like our God. We speak to things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak to things. Moving or not moving, I speak to a lamp pole. I speak to anything. Hallelujah. Because, you know, I got people calling me tonight, speaking to their car. Say, car won't start. Hallelujah. And if you listen there, I'm preaching about you tonight. Hallelujah. Say, my car won't start. I don't start to speak to it. I don't start to tell it. Car start in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And that's what we, that's who we are. We are the ones that speak it into existence. If we want to have great faith in these last days, we have to use our God-given authority, and that calls for us to have faith. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And I know that things are going 
uh, around now and have, we are having to have this and that and this. And, but I'm telling you, we have a message. And the world do not understand our message. In Isaiah 53 and 1, it said, Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord uh, been revealed? Hallelujah. Who's going to believe your report? Hallelujah. Who's going to believe what you say? Hallelujah. I believe the strong arm of God can be uh, moved in my situation, in my storm. I want you to know that those disciples, hallelujah, they were professional fishermen. They were professional fishers, and they was in a storm, and they were so fearful. Hallelujah. How I many you know that it don't take too much to be fearful? Amen. But it takes an uh, imported constitution, an uh, imported constitution to, to, to speak the word of God against a storm. Can you say amen? And fear had gripped them. It gripped them so, and I don't know if you've ever been in fear before, hallelujah, but fear had gripped them so much until they was afraid and did not know what to do, hallelujah. But I'm telling you, don't fear. Release your faith and what? Believe God. Release your faith in God, and God's going to turn it around, Hallelujah. And you can uh, depend on our God turning things around. Just read your word. Just read the Bible. Didn't he turn it around for them? Hallelujah. Didn't he turn it around for them? Hallelujah. I'm telling you say, uh, that there was several situations and several storms and several things that came against God's people. And they referred to God, and God turned things around for them because he's an awesome God. Hallelujah. And I want to know, do anybody have faith in God tonight? Do you have faith in God? Because you can depend on him in the storm. Hallelujah. That he's going to bring you out. He's going to bring you out of that storm. Oh, hallelujah. 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 When it came to walking on the water, hallelujah. <laughs> when it came to walking on the water, Jesus walked on the water. How I many you believe that? Hallelujah. He, he, when it came to walking on the water, they saw Jesus and they what? Was afraid. They was afraid. But Peter said, if you let me come up on that water, if it's you, Lord, let me come up on the water. And how I many you know that he got out the boat? and walked on the water. But he began to get in what? Fear. He began to get in fear. How many of you know we're not going to get in fear of this coming year? We're not going to get in fear of this Christmas season that's coming up. Hallelujah. We're going to be joyful. We're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate Jesus because we're going to use our faith. If God is so rich, he wants to bless us. So I thank God for blessing us this season that we are entering into. So Peter walked on the water because God said, come, hallelujah, and he's saying to you right now, call upon him, hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus was sitting on the roadside, blind as a bat, and he began to call upon God. He began to call upon Jesus to heal his eyes. Hallelujah. Jesus heard his call, and what did he do? He said, bring him to me. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, the world is trying to shut you out. Hallelujah. They trying to shut you down. They trying to put uh, something on you uh, that the world has trying to make you act like the world, trying to make you uh, think like the world. But I'm telling you tonight, 
that if you call upon Jesus, if you call up unto him, that he will answer you and show you great and mighty things. He'll give you revelation, knowledge, hallelujah, new things. He'll give you, I don't care what kind of situation that you are in, hallelujah, with man. It's impossible. Hallelujah. There are some great lawyers. There are some great doctors. There are some great men of God. But I'm telling you, none exceed our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can you call upon him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He just needs somebody to call upon you. Hallelujah. Call up of his name. Amen. Hallelujah. In John 1 and 10, it said he was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not even know him. Hallelujah. How many of you know him tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know him tonight. Hallelujah. I've been in a situation. I've been in circumstances. And I know that when I call upon the name of the Lord, hallelujah, and the old people used to say, Ah, oh, he may not come when you want him. Hallelujah. We want him right now. Right now we want him. But I'm just telling you, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's coming. He's coming. And God is working things out. He's working things out for you. He's working things out for me. Hallelujah. He's working. Hallelujah. And he's going to work it out for you and I. Just have faith in God. Hallelujah. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the world can't compare to our God. No way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there may be someone out there now. There may be someone now that need him. That need Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going through a storm. Hallelujah. Family crisis. No matter what it is. I want to stir your faith tonight. Hallelujah. Don't start uh, a little bit and quit. Oh, hallelujah. Do it at night. Do it in the morning. Be serious about our God because he is faithful to come and help us. Amen. In Ephesians 3 and 20, it said, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, y'all know it, Abundant above anything that we can ask or think or according to the power that worketh within us. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, there's some power that's in you. Hallelujah. That's, that, that God is trying to draw out. He's trying to draw your faith out of you so you can call upon him. And he's saying that I'm able to do exceedingly abundant above anything that you ask according to the faith and the power that I put inside of you. I'll put faith in you. I've given you a measure of faith. Go to work. Come on. Go to work. Go to work. The Bible said with man it's impossible, but with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. I just need somebody to call upon our Lord. I just need somebody to be blessed tonight. I need somebody who oh, will believe God and trust in God tonight. Hallelujah. 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 And that 21 verse said to him, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that he was in the generation the past. He delivered them. Old Testament. I, I was talking to you about Old Testament. The Hebrew boy. Old Testament. Hallelujah. The lion's den. Old Testament. He did it for them. Hallelujah. And what make you think that he's not going to do it for you in this generation? He's in all generations. Hallelujah. To him be the glory. Hallelujah. To all generations. In Jude 1.24, it says, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. Hallelujah. Anybody stumbling out there tonight? He's able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before our God 
Hallelujah. How many of you know he's interceding for you right now? He's praying for you right now. He's our advocate. Ad ad uh, I'm, I'm not saying it correctly, but he's the go, go between, between the Father. Hallelujah. My blood. He said, My blood is on them children. My blood has cleansed them. He's able to present us faultless. I want to know did he wash your sin away? Did he wash your sin away? He washed my sin away. Hallelujah. And if the devil is condemning you, you tell him to get behind you and release your faith. For there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For the Lord's sin and death have set us free from, from the enemy, from the sin, from the law of sin and death. Set us free. Oh, hallelujah. Is anybody here free tonight? Yeah. Is anybody free here tonight? Well, I tell you, I'm free tonight. And I want you to know that I have exceedingly joy in my soul because I know that our God, he's able. Somebody say he's able. To God, our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. How I many you know that we are in the kingdom of God? We are in what you call the ark of safety. We are in Jesus, and Jesus is in us. Hallelujah. What can happen to you? I, I think someone said it like this in the Bible. I won't be afraid of what man can do to me. Hallelujah. I don't fear what things will come up on the earth. The Bible say that, hallelujah, it says in the uh, Chronicles, hallelujah, though the heavens are shut up and there's no rain. You know, Israel, they used to live by the rain so they could grow their crops. And it said, though locusts devour the land, and pestilence come amongst the people. Hallelujah. But God is saying to the children tonight, come on, just lift your hand and wave it to us. Say, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. Say, my children, if they will humble themselves, pray, ask me, ask me. Hallelujah. They tell me he owned the callous on a thousand hills. And Jesus said, I'm able to meet all your needs according to my riches. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, church, he's rich. He's rich. Hallelujah. My people call by my name. Humble themselves. Pray. Seek your face. Turn from their wicked way. So then you're going to hear from heaven. Hallelujah. Child, I'm going to forgive you of your sins. Hallelujah. I'm going to heal what's wrong with you. Then let me know what's wrong with you. I'll heal it. Do you believe he's able to heal it? Come on, give me a horn blow. He's able to heal it. I don't know where you are tonight. I want you to release your faith. Hallelujah. Any storm that you might be going through tonight, release your faith tonight with me. The Bible says, that any two shall agree on earth and touching anything they ask shall be done by the Father which is in heaven. So right now, any storm, any lack, any sickness, any disease, hallelujah, just release your faith with me tonight and let's believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you wherever this it's been telecasted, Lord, wherever it's been the sound of my voice is, in the parking lot, Lord, in the homes, God, on YouTube or wherever, Facebook, God, wherever it is, God. Hallelujah, I pray right now that the faith will arise and, Lord, the needs will be met, God. Lord, I thank you that Paul said, I'm not ashamed of this gospel, for it's the power of God unto salvation. 
to all that believers, to the Jew first, then to the Gentile. Oh, Lord, we believe tonight, God, Lord, that you are able, God, to do it in Jesus' name. We thank you that you are able to break change. You are able, God, to put my family back together. Lord, families are broken into so many pieces, Lord. Thousands of pieces, God. But Lord, you're able to put it back together, Lord. Put families back together, Lord. Lord, cause lack to go back where it came from. And Lord, as we enter this season of a time, this new wineskin, and this time of drawing close to you, God, as we enter this season, God, of another year, God, 22, Lord. Lord, we are entering in, in a blaze of glory, God, using our faith, speaking to mountains, rebuking every devil and every demon, and declaring that he has no place, declaring that our God is Lord. He's Lord over our homes. He's Lord over our families. He's Lord over our church. He is Lord. So, Father, I thank you for all that you're going to do tonight. Every prayer that's being prayed here tonight, every need that's being here tonight, I come into agreement right now that, Lord, that it's going to be done now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I thank you that I can declare that this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, that you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, we know we have the petition that we desire of you. Now, praise God. I don't know what you were praying and agreeing with me about, but just act like you got it. Give me a blunt horn blow. Shout to the Lord. Give him a the shout with the Lord with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. We love you guys, and I pray that your faith was stirred up and you are able to go forward, believing God for breakthroughs, changes, salvation, and all that you need according to his riches and glory. God bless you. We love you. You're dismissed in Jesus' name.